Let's take one and make come back today, that is it. Praise God, people of Orebru. The Bible says God so much loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son that whoever believed in His name shall be saved. Our message is a message of the love of God, the gospel of the power to bring the salvation for the mankind. And today we are so delighted to open this message for the people, beautiful people of the Odebru. It's a very beautiful weather and sunny weather and I would like to share with you the heart of God, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all of us, that our sin to be forgiven. Jesus says he is the bread of the life. Whoever eat of me, he shall not die. Bible says that the, we as a human being, we have a choice to make. And this choice is to live with Jesus Christ and receive that salvation and have him in our heart and live in eternity with him. And live in eternity is not something that you can deny and ignore. Every human being just live 80 years or 100 years and after this it's a judgment. Once appointed for every man to die. And when you die, you will face the judgment. And that's to Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that God appointed him as a judge for the living and the dead. Jesus Christ loves you. And he wants that you have a new life. And this new life is that your body as a temple of God, as a temple of the Holy Spirit, receive him. The Bible says that he is holy and he wants that the people also to live holy. When Jesus died on the cross and shed his blood, he's bring the promise of God, the Holy Spirit, for us, to live inside of us. God is not so far away, he's not fairy tale, he's not something so boring, but our body, our heart, is the place of the living of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Bible says, if you believe indeed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the fountain of the living water shall come out of you to the everlasting life. The gospel of Jesus Christ says, for those people at the end of the day when there is a judgment, when the wicked and the righteous will be separated, and those people who are with Jesus Christ, they will be caught up with him and they live in eternity. So the kingdom of God is a kingdom of joy and the peace and love. And Jesus Christ, when he died on the cross and gave his life ransomly for the old man, he demanded everyone to live in the kingdom of righteousness. Not the kingdom of the world, not the corruption of the world, but the kingdom of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, if you receive Jesus Christ, you will be established in his identity. You will be called son and the daughter of God. You will be beloved. You have a right to the throne of God. God will take care of you. The challenges of life will not overwhelm you. You will not be alone. Jesus Christ will live inside of your body. But God says that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And that's why when you being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ in the water and the Spirit of God breathe upon you, you have Christ inside of you. You live in eternity. The righteousness of God is inside of you. You are not alone, but you have the purpose and some function in the kingdom of God. If you see the world that we are living in, it's a full of trouble, trials, temptation, and the deception that the Satan throw at the people to bring them down, to hunt their souls, to bring them to the corruption,
to bring them to the drug addiction, to bring them to pornography, to bring them to all kinds of the criminal activities. Hatred all around the world. But Bible says, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, He is alive. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. It says, if you're being baptized in His name, the righteousness of God will come to your heart. God will baptize you by the fire. Bible says that the John the Baptist come to baptize you by the water, but the one will come after him, that is, can baptize you by the fire. And this fire can burn the demons. This fire can burn the sins. This fire can burn the shackles, bondage, hopelessness, and loneliness, and bring the hope and the grace and the mercy of God alive, so good, inside of your body. So Jesus loves you. How many people, Bible says in the book of Psalm, that the, the ruler of the world, the one that they hate, the righteousness of God, the Jesus Christ, and the message of the gospel, they choose darkness. They choose to go to the corruption of the world. They choose the wicked things of the world. But Bible says, today is the day of the salvation. Today, if you turn away from your sin and give your life to Jesus Christ, open your heart. Bible says, if you seek Him with all your heart and seek Him, you shall find Jesus Christ. You can be baptized by the fire of the Holy Spirit and you can flee freely in the heaven. And the heaven is so real that can live inside of you. The world is passing by, but the Word of God stands forever. This gospel is the truth. This gospel is the power of God to salvation for those people who believe. And this gospel, for some people, it's a foolishness. For those Greek people, they ask for the wisdom. So Jesus Christ on the cross became a wisdom. And for those people who are Jews, they seeking after the signs. Jesus Christ became the sign. He died on the cross and raised from the dead. Who raised from the dead? It was Jesus Christ. And there is a Bible. He says then he went up from the, there to the battle. And he was going up by the way. Young lads came out of the city and mocked him and said to him, Go up, you bold head. Go up, you bold head. When he looked behind him and saw them, he cursed them in the name of the Lord. So he says, some Elisha, when he was walking, some people come and mocked him. And then later, he cursed them. But today, Bible says that we do not curse. We bless. We bless. Even, Bible says, if they, someone hit you on the cheek, you turn away and let them to hit you one more time. Gospel of Jesus Christ is the gospel of the truth. Gospel of the peace. Gospel of the love. If you want to experience the love of God, it's the Jesus Christ in action in your heart. When you repent of your sin, when you turn away from your sin for, from all your heart, Bible says the peace of God will surpassing all knowledge will come to you. Bible never says to curse people or hit the people. Gospel of Jesus Christ is it's above the politics. Gospel of Jesus Christ is above the uh, money or some kind of the po uh, positions that we try to achieve. No, the gospel of Jesus Christ is the purity, holiness of God in action in the name of Jesus Christ, is the faith of God, is that mutual things, is Bible says, if you come nigh to me, I will come near to you. This is you make a decision and God will come to you. So gospel has been hidden in the religiosity today in the church. And people, they just perform the rituals. They lose their faith because Jesus says that there is a judgment to come. You make a choice, my friend, today that you are walking in this beautiful weather on that street, that you want to live in eternity. Because some people say that the hell is a wrong thing, it's a false thing. But we live or in the heaven in eternity with God in the name of Jesus Christ or we live in hell with the demons that they are tormenting us. Bible says the seek the heart of the wisdom of God which is hidden in the hidden place but today is revealed and that's Christ the wisdom of God. 
Bible says, if you believe in the name of Jesus Christ, the cloak of heaven, the cloak of righteousness, the joy of the salvation, and the very deliverance of God will come to your house. Bible says, I come and knock at your door. Behold, if you open your heart and let me to come in, I will come and abide in your house and I will eat with you. Is any person in the religious in the world, the Buddha or the Mormons or Jehovah's Witness or whatever other religious like Islam, their prophet or their person, they are alive that they claim such a thing that I am the God. Jesus says, if you see me, you see the Father. Bible says the gospel of Jesus Christ is the perfect reflection of the Godhead. So there is a joy in the gospel of Jesus Christ. There is a power in the name of the Lord. And whoever seeks to receive the healing in this troubled world, if someone is troubled in the storm of the news or incidents or trauma, Jesus Christ says, I am the peace. Come unto me, all you weary and heavy burden. I will give you peace. Take my yoke because I am lowly and gentle in the heart. How beautiful is this Bible verse?